Hi there. Hi. We are Smiljana and Peter, and this is Peter Smiljana Qigong channel. Uh, today we will talk about uh, how to establish your uh, daily Qigong routine. But uh, before we start, I would just like to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will not miss uh, the future epic videos from us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, we would like today we will talk about um, how when you start to to practice qigong it is very very important that as soon as possible you establish your daily routine it means that um, you get used to do qigong every day at least for a small amount of time and um, the first thing that you need to do is to decide to do the qigong so when you decided to do the qigong you need some things that will inspire you. For example, you can watch our videos or read our blogs and um, when you, you... Or have some goals, I don't know. Uh, or have some goals. To improve your health or... Uh, to, to be a better person, yeah. uh, emotionally, spiritually, physically, um, energetically. Enjoy movement. Yes. And so on. So when you've decided uh, to, to, to do the Qigong, now you have an inspiration and uh, you, don't, you don't end up with this one inspiration because one inspiration can uh, vanish. It yes. can become used, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, when you use, this, uh, you use this inspiration, maybe you won't have uh, any. So you need to find more, more than one inspiration to inspire you during this process. For example, I had an inspiration uh, which was uh, Smiljana and uh, um, uh, when I started to do the Qigong... You we, to look better. Yes, I wanted to look better. I wanted to, to be a better person. I wanted to be a better person in emotional and uh, in spiritual sense and uh, better better person in... Um, in um, uh, knowledge, n knowledgeable uh, uh, side. side and um, experiential side. Well, this this was this was all all of all of all of these things were were my inspiration at that time. And now nowadays I don't need any inspiration and I don't need a decision to make uh, uh, in the morning to do the qigong because the, the, the qigong is my my daily routine, which is. Uh, which is actually part of me and I do it uh, daily uh, habitually uh, and uh, I really need it you know and my day is not a, a day if I don't do uh, qigong uh, exercises yeah you just wake up with this inner desire to do qigong so today we would like to share with you uh, um, a few few things uh, that may help help you uh, in establishing this daily routine and the first thing is, uh, after you have decided to do a Qigong every day, it is that you, you, you try to find a location that is suitable for your uh, practice. It means you can, I don't know, you can decide to do Qigong at home in a room. It doesn't matter if uh, it's a small room. I mean, you don't need a lot of space. Or the best, the, the best option is to do a Qigong outside. But um, if you decide to do Qigong, Qigong outside, just choose some place near your house or I don't know, so that, that you don't need a lot of time to get there because this is uh, the first obstacle uh, to, to realize, I mean, your daily routine. Usually you are not so, how to say... How, so keen to go somewhere, yes. uh, to travel somewhere a long, a long way to do the qigong exercises yeah. so do it do it in the in in the nearest nearest uh, possible uh, place that you find for example when when we started to do qigong we were doing it at home in uh, in the biggest room that we had and it was actually <laughs> the, the only the one, only one uh, where we where we slept where we lived and uh, the kitchen was only um, only partly uh, what divided, uh, divided from, the, from this room. So uh, we are so, doing I mean, it there. there. There is no excuse if you want to to begin with uh, qigong. I mean, you can do it everywhere. So I mean, this is uh, if you do it outside uh, and it, it's not uh, warm as it's as it is uh, still now in the late September. Uh, 
wear some warm warm clothes and uh, try not to to feel cold well that's yeah this is this is about the the clothes as we said oh, i mean okay. it's no it's it's uh, as peter said just just be careful uh, that where you do qigong it is uh, you don't have cold because it's not okay uh, especially at the beginning i mean just try to be uh, um, as comfortable as possible yes like this yeah um, the next thing, very important, maybe maybe uh, more than location, it is the, that you have to uh, establish or you have to decide when you will practice. Uh, it means like practice time. Uh, in ancient Qigong, there are um, uh, times which are more suitable for Qigong. For example, you can read about that um, the best is to do Qigong at sunrise or uh, sundown or at uh, midday and midnight for special purposes. But in our modern society, this is quite challenging for people who work or, um, I don't know, have their uh, daily, daily uh, businesses. So um, the better thing uh, for us, for example, it was uh, to start doing this uh, Qigong in the morning before, just after you have you, you woke up, before you go somewhere, I mean, to the job or uh, I don't know, uh, you have to take care for kids or I don't know what else. But it is the first thing in the morning and uh, it is so good to do a Qigong at that time because after, I mean, this Qigong is done, it's done. It's, it's like... Uh, Nobody can can uh, take this from you, and uh, because usually happens that if you decide to do qigong in the evening, I don't know. It's like uh, something something else uh, has to be done, or somebody come to visit us, or somebody I don't know. Many many reasons that this uh, I mean that you cannot realize uh, this practice. Uh, there there is a thing that that we used to. Uh, uh, for example, me and Smiljana, uh, when we lived in Ljubljana and she used to go to work uh, in the morning, well, we decided to wake up two hours before to, to have tea, to, have, uh, to, to, do our, to do our Qigong uh, routine and then to have a breakfast and then she would leave. And uh, it was really early when we, when we, um, woke, up. When we woke up and... Uh, that was the thing. Well, uh, sometimes I used uh, I, I was really sleepy because I didn't have uh, I, I didn't have enough sleep. And when I when I do the when I did the qigong, uh, I was I was uh, 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 the the feeling was gone because uh, I was so rejuvenated rejuvenated with this energy of. Uh, my routine and uh, that I didn't that I didn't uh, f feel uh, mm. f uh, that I didn't feel uh, anymore this um, um, lack of sleep well and the other thing uh, was that that uh, used to happen to me for example I used to uh, sometimes I used to wake up with this uh, feeling of uh, angriness because uh, uh, why do I need to wake up so early? You know, this is this is not fair. This is not uh, this is not something that I would like uh, to experience uh, uh, on a daily basis. And then after after a qigong, I felt so different. I felt like uh, I, I was so happy that I wake up that I could transform this this uh, emotion. Uh, of uh, angriness into something so beautiful which was actually a joy a joy uh, uh, for life and uh, for new experiences which were which were lying ahead uh, so uh, the daily routine is really really something to 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 have um. mm -hmm. yeah but but anyway if you can't if you can't do it in the morning i don't know for any reason uh, i mean it's just important that you find some some time in the day that is the most suitable for you for your schedule so that you just decide to do qigong uh, at that time and it's okay so um, don't worry i mean it's just uh, but we will talk about this daily routine i mean also about uh, other uh, beneficial things that you get from from this day from this morning daily routine in some other block I think um, 
It is also very important that you decide at the beginning that uh, uh, I mean how long this practice will will uh, will uh, will take. I mean how much time it will take. Uh, for the beginners, uh, it's the best to start with some ma- 10 or maybe 15 minutes. 15 minutes would be great uh, of daily routine, so that you start to to increase this uh, this time gradually. You know, so that in certain certain period you can you can just uh, add for few minutes f- few minutes more, and you get somewhere. I don't know. I think it's if you do half hour or, or uh, I mean from half hour and to one hour of qigong daily it's it's amazing you will have i mean a lot of things will change i yes. think you 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 might feel uh, the energy flow uh in in your uh, um, moving through through your body and through your energy field um after su- after a while you you might feel uh you start transforming yourself as a personality and as uh, as emotional being because you would st- you would start to mature in an emotional uh and spiritual uh sense uh why am i so uh, talking about this emotional part because the emotional part is really the hardest the hardest thing uh, to grasp and to change and um i can say uh, only because uh, only um, because I, I I have changed as a per, as a person uh, in a in a better sense uh, during this uh, qigong uh, experience that I have uh, that it is the hardest thing but it is the most the most uh, valuable thing that you can uh, get. Mm-hmm. I will say just this that maybe maybe now when you are watching to us you say wow oh, they have this one hour per day I mean I don't have one hour per day it's too much but it just I mean it's just your choice you just have to see uh, how you how you um, how you spend your time I mean maybe you can watch just TV for 20 m- minutes uh, less than usually and maybe you can uh, I don't know you don't go really uh, for three or four coffee per day with friends and talk just uh, about the nonsense. same things or nonsense and I mean you have this hour like this and as Peter, as Peter said um, you will see that this hour in the long term it really uh, give you so much so much uh, things and so much energy that it's worth sleep, it's, sleep one hour less yeah maybe also. maybe that would may, yeah. maybe that would help or yeah. uh, uh, stop stop spending stop spending time i don't know in the marketplaces or uh, in uh, uh, going to shopping malls or, or uh, mm. going to I- internet uh, uh, sites uh, so oftenly. So you you can find you can find your time. You can find uh, you can find the place and time for doing qigong. And that's the other thing that we will talk yeah. about. Yeah. In this uh, block is yeah, but it is uh, it is. Uh, I mean, when you when you change something, when you change something in your life, for example, you you, you begin to do this uh, daily qigong routine. It is challenging. I mean, I don't say it's not challenging. Uh, and now we will talk about this um, challenge uh, in um, in uh, from the aspects of the of the disturbances that are. Uh, I mean, usually you have uh, um, uh, when you're doing qigong. Uh, one, one, what kind, uh, one kind of these uh, um, disturbances are like uh, just noises or something that um, uh, that make you make you I don't know um, make your mind um, mind not settled and um, I mean make you nervous. It, it, it could be there could be noises. It could be street. It could be I don't know neighbors or um, uh, somebody screaming. But usually, I mean, try to find a place where these um, disturbances are not so uh, obvious. Yes. Uh, and uh, these disturbances doesn't doesn't appear so much. So if you find uh, that place, uh, at least um, a better place than uh, uh, at the beginning when you decided to uh, to practice qigong um, uh, well when you fi- when you have found this place uh, just just uh, just turn off your mobile phone 
just turn off the, the, the music, turn off all the things that might, that might um, um, disturb you. Yeah, For don't, example, don't answer to the bell. B- bell, bell of your door. neighbor, uh, b- uh, your neighbor uh, at, at, at the door or, or a post, postman at down, downstairs or in front of your door. Just don't answer it. Just do your daily Qigong. And afterwards, you can be available for everyone and everybody. But mm-hmm. this is your time. You need to do this Qigong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there is uh, uh, outside there is a revolution or there is a hurricane outside or, um, I don't know, uh, somebody is screaming outside. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just do your Qigong routine. Be in the center be balanced and let the let the let the universe uh, take care of itself and you just do it do the thing that you need to do because the thing is when you do your qigong and when you are in the center you know that the real thing is happening right now here in the moment when you're doing the qigong and everything else is just an illusion and that's that's the real uh that's the real experience that you might experience someday when you do the qigong yes and it's natural that you should also uh i mean um i i don't want to say train but um yes train the people around you about this uh, your new habit And it is normal that uh, people at the beginning, they will try to, um, I don't know, to disturb you, disturb you, pull you away. I don't know, have a call, but it just, it just maybe there, there will be some person that, that persons or person that will be jealous about it. You can, you can also, you can also say to them, okay, come, come, come and do the Qigong with me. Maybe that's, maybe yeah. that's the reason that they, they don't want you to do the Qigong. So yeah. they, they want to spend uh, some more time with you. So invite them. But after, I, I, I can tell you that after some time, they will respect this time that you take for you and that uh, they will not, I mean, they will, they will understand and uh, they will appreciate that, that you are so, I don't know, so in a, in a, in a center that, that you are capable to do it every day. And uh, so, I mean, in time, they will also see that it's beneficial also for them because you are in a better mood, you are more aligned, you are, I mean, you, you, you become you better have person. Better connect- you have better communica- communication with them and so uh, don't worry you just have to be consistent I mean you just I mean you every time when somebody wants want to to do something else at that time with you you just say sorry but I mean I have a qigong now maybe we can see after one hour or I don't I don't know miss him she missile <laughs> that means uh, she's thinking, thinking. she knows And that is a bell ringing uh, down in the uh, uh, du- Duino uh, or Devin uh, place where we are recording this video. Uh, and it is a beautiful day and it's, uh, mm-hmm. the sun is uh, setting down and you can see uh, the yellow and the orange and you can feel color, the, the, the color on, on, our, on our faces. And it's really, really beautiful uh, day. Yeah. Um, so I really, I really uh, wish that you get some useful information or uh, encouragement for us. I mean, um, just just try somewhere, try to do it. It doesn't matter that it, it has to be perfect. I mean, somebody will disturb you. I mean, you will forget the exercises or maybe you will uh, woke up later. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just start and uh, all the t- things will um, it- just follow on it's simple uh, like we decided to do the English videos you yeah. can decide to do the Qigong routine so um, if you like it just do it uh, and uh, it will be better and better yes it will get the better it gets the better it gets the be- it's, <laughs> yes, it's true okay uh, may the chi be with you bye bye